Inflation and the cost of living in the UK is causing more and more people to turn to food banks. Between 2020 and 2021, there was an increase of 33%, and the Trussell Trust says that 980,000 of those in need were children. The reasons for the rise in food prices are numerous. Among them are supply chain problems and labour shortages caused by Covid and in part by Brexit. And there are other pressures on the cost of living too. Some people will pay more income tax this year. And there's the removal of the temporary increase of the universal credit benefit. In terms of the food bank issue, what they tend to find is the typical user of food bank is not someone that's languishing in poverty, it's someone who has a cash flow problem episodically. Oh. No, it's true. Yeah. Well, that's what the, that, okay. that is what the Trussell Trust yeah. played to say. It's not what they say, and, John. And it is, it is. No, what I go to food banks Sorry, no, 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 no. The Trussell, no. The Sorry. Trussell Sorry. Trust would be outraged point? by you saying no, that. They, 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 I've lost a hearing aid. Have you? Oh no! <laughs> I went to the farm on Wednesday. I mean, I, don't know. I only had one hearing aid. Right, Eileen, I'm going to start a couple of credits off Eileen. Hmm? I'm going to start a couple of credits. Sorry, say again. I'm going to start. What we're doing is this is goods coming in. We. Put the, check the sell-by date to see if it's in date and then put the sell-by date on the top of the tin so that we weren't like any supermarket. We bring the f food with the shortest date to the front um, and the rest go to the back. So we have a warehouse and with those with a really long sell-by date go to the warehouse. Right. I have one more. Okay. So what have we got there? One adult, no children. So we actually started in May 2011, and um, it's just grown from there. So, so I got involved with it basically just through feeling that uh, I should be doing something a little bit extra to give back, uh, and there it seems to have taken over my life. <laughs> Uh, the, the biggest change is the, the volume of clients we're seeing, certainly uh, over the uh, period of the pandemic, um, where we had our, our biggest year, we actually doubled our biggest year that we'd had previous to that, where as we normally would be looking at feeding about two and a half thousand people a year, uh, uh, over 2020 we've fed over 5,000. It's not slowing down a lot at the moment, so uh, we see where it goes. When we put the orders up, as you heard, it's like one family, one person. We've got a, a one one person column, so we know what to give for one, then two, then three, don't we? Yeah. So yeah. it's not. I saw a picture of of a food bank the other day in the paper, and all the bags were lined yes. up, and they all looked the same. Because uh, last year we had a huge delivery of baby food, baby jars, and we knew we wouldn't be able to get rid of them. It was a massive amount. Now, I'm from the north of England and I was visiting the north of England. So I took some to a food bank in Stockton. And they, it's a very deprived area. And in that area, they don't get we get lots of things coming in from our area, from our supermarkets. We consider it to be a well-off area, so we've lots on our shelves. But they don't because it's a completely deprived area. So the way they work theirs is they make up a food bag per person because it's the only way they can do it. Where we have a selection right. of nice produce, they, they sort of don't. And that's, that's why that happens, I think. My name is Toby Dodson. I'm Community Minister at Eastleigh Baptist Church. Community Minister means that I am just particularly um, 
faced to engage with our local community, deliberately going out amongst the local community, deliberately getting um, local community into our premises here, uh, not just to attend church, but very much to come with um, whatever support needs, whatever um, relationship needs and so on they may have. So people who find themselves in, in need, financial need, uh, or in need of food, those sort of things, uh, are able to self-refer to us here at Eastley Baptist Church as one of these one of the agencies that has an arrangement with the local basics bank. So they can just turn up here and uh, explain their situation, express their, their situation and be referred over to the basics bank. But there are other agencies, CAP, uh, a debt advice centre, for example, or the, the local citizens advice bureau, social services. There's, there's been a steady sort of flow of people coming in, which gradually seem to be kind of increasing over time um, but then it got to, to Covid and uh, referrals went absolutely through the roof. I mean, I'd love to share just the general need because a lot of people are as I said earlier on the kind of the, the, the cusp of um, the poverty line, cusp of kind of um, break even. It doesn't take a lot to tip people into uh, a situation where all of a sudden they can't make ends meet and that's that's really scary. Do you, do you pay this bill keep your house warm or do you you know do you have uh, you to cut back on your food bill it's kind of it can feel like it's quite a shameful thing to, to be in need um, sometimes for people um, and that people will be put off actually accessing you know genuine help help from a genuine need if they think the process is is, is, is too kind of shaming or, or intrusive I'm Dan Brain and I'm the chairman of the Eastley Basics Bank and we've been running since uh, 2011 supporting families and individuals who are struggling to cope with the day-to-day the -day cost of living and they tend to come to us when they're in crisis. It used to be like baked beans, tea bags and pasta, tons of the stuff. And now it's, it's all changed. Yeah, nappies is another one. <laughs> um, and then we do, yeah, I mean, dog and cat food people don't think of too often as well. Because uh, if, if someone's got a dog, there's a good chance they'll sacrifice themselves for their dog, <laughs> to feed their dog a bit. Um, so having some food. When we first started in 2011, we had no idea how much the demand would actually be. But uh, quite quickly, as, as we got going, we discovered that more people, as they found out about us, actually did need us. And the uh, community, um, particularly after the 2008 recession, had become particularly aware of the, the issue of uh, food poverty and uh, immediately got right <laughs> behind us. Ravioli. We had uh, one family who came to us um, and uh, gentleman had got to literally the, the last bit of his money. His wife had got very sick and then had to lose her job because uh, she couldn't do it anymore. Um, not long after that, he had to become her carer and their daughter ended up being the uh, sort of keeping keeping their heads up just above water, bringing some income. Sadly, she was made redundant. Circumstances have just put them in a position uh, where they need us, and uh, that's what we're here for. Because the trouble is, it's like all these things. It's like the instructions on an aeroplane. If if the oxygen masks are deployed. Make sure you put one on yourself before you try to help somebody else. If you can't, if you don't look after yourself, you can't help other people. Daddy, um, okay. My sister used to get stuck on the food bag. Yeah. When she picked it up, obviously they put the date on that they get. The dates are mine on the tenth, but it's. Well, it was really just starting to get going during my term because I, I got elected in 2013, and that was things were really starting to, to bite a bit. 
following the credit crunch. And we saw it build up and build up. And to be honest, I thought, well, yeah. this is a good local initiative and hopefully it'll only be needed for a short term. I was wrong. Yeah, depriving your children is very difficult. Depriving yourself of a few luxuries. No, I, mean, I don't mean it that way. It's a lot of people, it's essential. But depriving yourself is easier somehow, isn't it? <laughs> right, we're going to stack them in the... In the During lockdown, I was actually taking food to people's houses and the gratitude of people was just extraordinary and the other rather sad thing was is that some of them felt embarrassed by having to, to be helped by their neighbors yeah. and it shattered and ended up with a load of wood in the knuckle wood of his left hand horrible and um so he, he came back in so to, to get another food bag sure. yeah So I can think of one lady, Emma, who came in to see us about um, six months ago. Uh, she had two small boys and they had literally run from uh, their homes uh, in the northwest. They'd arrived down here um, with a pram and the clothes that they were standing up in and that was it. Uh, and needed some food help. Um, we offered them, offered them food for probably a number, three or four weeks. We were able to provide them with food while the local domestic abuse charity um, was able to set the, uh, one of the boys up in school uh, and the mum with a local flat. Um, we don't know what happened to them, and that's often the case with, with uh, people coming in for us. But uh, Emma, and I often think about Emma and her two boys who came in absolutely terrified that um, her partner was going to catch up with her um, and had no food or money, as I said, other than the clothes that she was standing up in. Um, so after about um, three months in the Eastleigh area, she's moved on, but hopefully she'll be able to um, uh, now start a new life and, uh, and, and a happier one for, for her and her family. Universal credit is both an in-work and out-work benefit. It was some relief. For that to be removed, it will leave us a big question again. Do I go hungry or do my kids go hungry? About £20 is roughly about doing potentially two, an extra two hours work per week. In terms of the national living wage has been uh, already increased. So you're, so telling, that, sorry, uh, you're telling that single parent then I'm, that you I'm don't need to, to make questions, a decision Susanna. about whether he goes hungry or the kids go hungry. He goes to work for an extra two hours a week. I'm saying that's a comparable in terms of their...